Mic check one, mic check two, three, four, five. Boom. Seven. <laughs> Sixteen. Cut. Cut. Hello, I'm Victoria. Start again. Jesus Christ, you make me nervous. I'm Victoria <laughs> Secrets and go. No. Hello, I'm Victoria from Transporto and I'm here today at Fabric in London for the Faith Liberation event. For those who never heard or never been to the Liberation event, it's the one it's one of the freshest trans events in London. Uh, their production stands out, they have dancers, they have lasers, not to mention festival worthy, very impressive lineup that never disappoints. And one of today's headliners is Scott Project. Hello, hello, How hello. Are you? I'm good, I just arrived and it's quite unusual to play that early. But I'm up for it and uh, the club is pretty busy right now and so yeah. I think everyone is ready for you. Yeah, I play yeah. a three hour vinyl set so I'm a bit excited. Yeah, it's I hope I can still beat match. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's hope so. A three hour vinyl set and a wax format room. And um, Do you prefer vinyl or do you pre prefer digital format? Well, digital all the way these days since the last 10 years actually. And, uh, but I always love to every now and again to do some vinyl sets mm -hmm. with these crackled noises like, oh, yeah. and and, uh, and it's, it's it's hard work. DJing imagine, digital yeah. these days that's easy, you know. But um, be concentrated, the, the beat match, and you have to be concentrated full time. Playing vinyl shows yeah. a real skill. It is actually. Like, it's, well, it's that's the essence part. of DJing. It's like uh, spinning vinyl. Yeah. 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 How many years have you been DJing? Oh, over 25 years now. 25. Nearly 30 years. I'm getting old. When do you think there was a peak of heart trance? Uh, yeah, the, the early 2000, 2000 to 2008 was a big, big, big period of time for, for heart trance and tech trance. But it's coming again, so it was never fully away. Uh -huh. It was never under the radar. It was also not on the very top, but uh, oh, it was always there. That's why I'm still there. Exactly. I'm still here. Like. <laughs> do you think it's yet to peak, fully peak? Heart trance. Is it going to be in, in general? The harder sounds they, they have a big um, 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 coming, they come again. The harder sounds like in hard style, hard dance sound, uh, everything is a bit harder, even techno, the tougher, yeah. tougher techno stuff. I don't know, maybe these days after Corona, the people are so angry they need a bit harder. And, <laughs> I don't know, they need to let the steam out. Don't but, they? but the harder side of the dance music in general was always there, it was never away. So Uh, that was back in the day Star Trek and they had one uh, guy there beaming up Scotty when they got into this little room and they got beamed up somewhere and then people came beamed into the up. club and they said that they were really like uh, Frank like Scotty beam us up and I said okay well I do a project for Scott who beams everyone up nice. and then I, I released my first record and then um, I couldn't change the name because the second record was kind of successful and I was sticking to the name so that's uh, that's the story behind that. Cool. Talking about your records, you have a very specific way of naming your tracks. There's it's a the letter, same thing. There's, a, there's a phrase. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the, the letters, yeah. Because um, I didn't know what was... Um, my first week was with no vocals. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the record company asked me, okay, Frank, how do we name that track? I said, I have no idea. I don't know. Call it like X, because X stands for the unknown. You know, like X. Yeah. And then I continued with that. And my first record called X, and then Y, and then uh, yeah. What do you think was your best production today? My best production? Yeah. Oh, God, I can't believe it. I made so many. And uh, they're like little babies having own kids, you know? I love them all in a way, you know? The one that you're most proud of? Uh, most proud of? All of them, in a way. Because you do them at a certain time, and with certain moods, and with certain surroundings. like. Music is like fashion, you know. That's why you can't produce music like from 20 years ago, uh, exact way these days. So um, yeah, for every time we have uh, everything I did in these time frames, I'm, I'm proud of these tracks. In inside, inside, you always say, ah, oh, well, if I would do that track again, I would fix it a little bit, like more like sound-wise or arrangement or different melody, whatever, but hey, it's done and I'm proud of all of them, what I achieved and, and what I made. What do you think your fans consider your biggest track? I don't know, maybe Overdrive, I Want Your Love, Feeling Me, You, I Got a Feeling, yeah, I guess these are the, or Rome, Hands Up, 
was another side project I did back in the days. Um, when you create music, do you like do, do you have a feeling of how big it's going to become, or no. is it no? I just have the dance floor in mind. Mm -hmm. I produce music not for the charts or for YouTube or for whatever. I produce it for the dance floor, yeah? and that's my only um, idea I have before I start with a track. It has to work on the dance floor, not in the radio, not in YouTube, not wherever. Other people do more commercial music, that's fine, that's their job. But I'm, I'm more, I'm best at doing music for the dance floor, I guess. And that's my passion. <laughs> You're doing great, I'm a big fan. It was a pleasure catching up with you. Thank you so much, Thank and you. we're looking forward to hearing your set. Yeah. Goodbye. Thanks. Take care. Okay. I oh, no, oh, no, I forgot one question. Okay, one question. What <laughs> is that question? Yeah. What is that? Frank, I have to say you have the most impressive hairstyle in a whole trans team put together. Have you ever tried to hide anything in your dreadlocks? Hiding something in my dreadlocks? Yeah. Actually, no. No? No. I have they, to disappoint they you. They never said you're a DJ, so, you know. Well, what's happened sometimes is because when the hair is open, they're really long. And sometimes I turn around and then I... Oh, I can can put drinks inside. It's like a straw. <laughs> I can soak it up, you know, like a sponge. Yeah. And then if I'm somewhere, then, oh, I have a drink left, and I can wrap it. And then, no. But no, I never. <laughs> no, I never was hiding anything. Okay, I believe you. But it's a good idea, actually. Yeah. At the airport, I don't know. No. 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 I do not recommend. No, it was a joke. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs>